Uh, hello, everybody. I'm Chris Coleman. I'm the director of the Clinic for Open Source Arts, a new program or thing uh, at the University of Denver in Colorado in the US. And uh, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about uh, what we do today. Uh, primarily, we are a clinic. We're interested in health uh, and thinking about the health of different kinds of ways of thinking about the tools that artists are using, uh, specifically open source ones. So uh, thinking about the communities around tools, uh, thinking about how people access those tools. Um, are, do you have the pieces in place with documentation, examples, tutorials? Uh, do you have ways for people to access uh, ways to become contributors? Um, we're really interested in sustainability issues around these tools. A lot of tools for artists come and go really quickly uh, because they don't have support systems set up. What does it look like to have a sustainable um, ecosystem of tools for artists? Um, we're also fostering new kinds of tools, very much interested in what it looks like to have underrepresented people in this space creating the tools that they see a need for, and how do we foster that kind of environment uh, so that we create a situation of change. And, you know, again, I keep using the word tools, and that really does refer to a large grouping of, of different pieces of open, port, open source software. Uh, eventually, we do want to move to open source hardware as well. Uh, but right now, thinking about uh, software specifically, what does it look like to have uh, those kind of tools that are used for creative purposes primarily? Um, how do you make sure that those have uh, healthy systems, healthy ecosystems, healthy communities? Um, so that's really what we keep focusing on, and that our, that uh, that focus is quite global. Um, and again, really thinking deeply about the people, um, we've been concerned over the years to think about who's getting involved in the tools and who's missing from those groups of people. And so creating opportunities where new people are invited in, new kinds of leadership are instituted in these communities, uh, and we literally change the face of the communities around those tools um, that, uh, that artists are using. And I, we think it's a really beautiful space to start that conversation. Um, I think uh, one of the sort of specific uh, pieces that we're really thinking about is at the moment we're running a training program to train community leaders, um, thinking about how do you help people transition from becoming contributors or community members into community leaders, thinking about the people who are orchestrating the process between people who might be working on code and people who might be working on documentation and educational material and people who might be interacting with and getting feedback from the larger community. Uh, what does, what, how does that all come together? And so training community leaders to be prepared for that task uh, for many different sized projects is a really core initiative that we're focused on right now. Uh, we're doing that with funding from the Knight Foundation, uh, the National Endowment for the Arts, uh, as well as a Mellon Grant. Uh, and we continue to do uh, a lot of that kind of work. And uh, that's led us to do lots of different kinds of projects, uh, including supporting things like ML5, um, looking at things like P Embroider, that uh, open source way to run an embroidery machine, uh, and even live coding tools like Carl. Uh, and then uh, thinking about how uh, education starts with art and technology and open source tools uh, with things like out of the black box uh, that's uh, starting with K through 12 and engaging them with these kind of technologies. And then beyond that, we're hosting clinics, uh, which are deeper conversations with experts in the field, gathering their ideas and putting them together, uh, hosting summits uh, for tools like open frameworks, to, you know, this was the first ever contributors conference that was more, more about something more than code. Uh, and so we continue to push boundaries and think about how can we help the community uh, in some really interesting ways. So uh, if you want to learn more, our website is at uh, clinicopensourcearts.org. And you can always reach us at cosa at du.edu if you uh, have any questions or thoughts or, uh, yeah, great ideas. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you very much.